So let's look at some situations now uh, with the new rules in effect and how they play out. Nice if you could move the marks that easily on the water. All right. So as a reminder, how rule 18 works. The first boat in turns on rule 18. Doesn't matter who's in. Rule 18 asks the question, are the boats overlapped? If they are, then the inside boat gets the mark. She gets to sail her proper course around the mark, including tacking or jibing. If the answer is no, they're not overlapped, then the first boat in gets the mark. Let's take a situation where coming into the lured mark, let's say it's a single lured mark to be left to starboard. Starboard on the outside, port on the inside. So clearly, the first boat in, turns 18 on, asks the question, are they overlapped? Clearly the boats are overlapped. P.I. is the inside boat. She gets to sail her proper course, which I'm saying is no more than a length away on this side, and make sure she doesn't come to close hauled before she gets to the mark. If she gets to close hauled as she gets to the mark or after, she's okay. So yellow is going to have to bear off and give, in this case, blue more room uh, than she was, was before. Same idea. Boats are coming in side by side like this. And they reach the zone like that. Okay. Again, 18 turns on and asks, are the boats overlapped? The answer is obviously yes. The question is, who's the inside boat? Well, the inside boat is the boat that will be on the inside when they leave it to starboard. So even though they're both aiming on this side of the mark, that's irrelevant. Blue is the inside boat. And again, she gets to make two jibes. She could jibe right now on a proper course jibe. And if yellow was in her way, that would be a penalty on yellow. Clearly, tactically, uh, clearly, tactically uh, yellow would want to get out of there before she gets there. Incidentally, this is the same under the current rules. This is not, um, not that new. The other situation that can happen is the boats could be running down and find themselves well to the right looking downwind to the mark. In a situation where Yellow is the first boat into the zone, but the boats are not overlapped. It could happen when this boat out here is just expecting to be able to roll on to port and get room as she would be under the current rules. Under the current rules, neither boat got to the zone clear ahead, therefore neither boat's entitled to mark room yet under the current rules. Once blue jibes under the current rules, the boats are clearly overlapped and the inside boat is entitled to room. But the test rules is just the opposite. The test rules say, as soon as one boat goes in and turns on that light, turns on rule 18, the question is, are they overlapped? The answer is no, they're not overlapped, therefore the first boat in gets mark room. So if blue were to jibe here and cause a kerfuffle here, that would be a penalty on blue. Now, let's add a gate. All right. So now we're coming to a gate and Right now, blue is entitled to mark room, but she doesn't need mark room. 
And in fact, she has luffing rights regardless of how she got into this position because Rule 17 doesn't apply anymore. So right now, she could luff yellow. Rule 16 would apply and she wouldn't be protected because she's sailing away from her proper course. Her proper course at this mark would be something like that. If she chooses to go off-roading, she's on her own. But she can do that as long as yellow can keep clear. Of course, the moment either boat touches this zone, then blue has to give yellow room to sail yellow's proper course to that mark. Two more lured mark situations. Alright, two boats running down to a single lured mark, doesn't matter to be left to starboard, uh, and blue reaches his own first. She's clear ahead, she's entitled to mark room. As she's dropping her spinnaker, as she's dropping her spinnaker, yellow comes in and establishes an overlap from astern. Blue's going slow and yellow comes in. First of all, we know that blue is entitled to sail her proper course around the mark now, which is different than the old rules. In the old rules, now she would have to start going towards the mark. She can sail her proper course. And we also see that yellow came in from a stern, which under the current rules would turn on rule 17 and would take away her luffing rights for as long as the boats were overlapped. Of course, there is no 17 on the test rules. So there are two differences right here. Yellow comes in from a stern. The boats are going around the mark. Yellow knows she has luffing rights, but she wants to know when can she assert them. Under the current rules, yellow just needs to give blue room between her and the mark in a seaman-like way. Once blue can respond to yellow's luff without hitting the mark, she's been given room in a seaman-like way. So yellow can luff sooner and cause blue to tack. Under the test rules, however, yellow has to give blue room to sail her proper course until she's completed her rounding and passing. So yellow has to wait until blue's stern passes the mark before she exercises her right to left. 